And we're back riding the plainly named Farming 13 map. I've got to assign all my workers onto jobs because I've just started the game back up. I do love those hills, the rolling hills. They add so much, and especially those mountains. It's like where you're in Switzerland on like one of your desktop images that just look amazing. But let's go ahead and get our other vehicles and get them to do other jobs. And I should also mention, I am sorry, I'd never realized that this thing was a sower. I literally didn't know because most of my sowers that I was using in Hagenstadt have always been green. So that's why I thought I looked at this thing. That's why I thought that's why I was looking at this thing more. But it's a cultivator, this one, and this is a cedar. So I do apologize for my mistake. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we have any other tractors that we could use because I really don't like the case one. Case should be probably used for something a little bit more heavier. Although I don't think I've got anything else apart from maybe you. And I've got no idea where this guy is. So this is where the river was, I think. That should be the sheep selling point where it was. So I think if we go down this way, that should be where the main map is. Hopefully there won't be too much of an echo in this video as well. I have had to clear out my whole room to get ready for the new desk. So there's pretty much nothing in my room. It's just pretty empty. There's a lot of echoey noises that are kind of annoying me, to be honest. It's just uh, really weird whenever you hear your voice. Supposedly the human brain uh, can't really function too well when it hears its own voice. When you say something and you hear its own voice by like a second later. Something like it's something that the United States Army has been... Uh, trying to weaponize for like mass um, protests to disturb uh, the protesters so they disband and stuff like that maybe it's more the police forces but it's still a good weapon to use so just disband it's not non-lethal of course and actually you know what because I've, I don't really know why I'm driving over here I could have pressed reset vehicle but that might cause a little bit more problems than good where are we exactly? That's where we are. Let's see where it resets our vehicle. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So this map mod doesn't really take into account that there's a whole new garage, like a main area. Now, instead of over here, where I guess where we usually spawn, it is all the way... Where is it now? Still need to learn about this map. It is... Where is it? Oh, it's there. It's not too far away. Some of you guys liked the mod, mo oh, not mod, but map. Some of you guys didn't. I think most of you guys did though, so I'm glad about that. I think this is one of the best maps out there so far. So that's why I'm using it, of course. Uh, some of you guys also wanted a Christmas special. If by Christmas special you mean a 45 minute episode or so, then that is definitely doable. Let's do it now. Let's try to at least. Uh, it looks like our Deutz is finished. The 6095 HTS. There's of course a new machine that we haven't used. It's rather poor as well. Let's go to one of our new fields. I think maybe this one. It looks like we own it. I wouldn't be surprised if we own every field. Like it's just enabled for us. Because it doesn't seem to be anything over here. Telling us that we can't use it. Of course I do have zero crops in here. I do know that. But... Because we have a hired worker, or will hire a worker, it'll be all good. He'll get his own seeds, and let's have a look at this actual saw. It's very interesting. It's captivated me. I'm lost for words with all these pipes. That is, uh, I couldn't imagine trying to build that machine. I guess it's all mechanized, and robots all make it these days, but still. So let's get some wheat. And it seems to be working, so I guess the game does realize that we are in this field. Very good. Very good. And okay, let's get you, the Schlüfer, because we need tractors. Hapag, uh, Hapag, Hap Hapag, or Hapag Lloyd, and Mersk Sealand. That sounds a bit German. Okay, so I know where we are. We should go up this hill. Oh, this is beautiful. I just love rolling hills. It looks so nice. I wonder if we can climb up onto that little whatever it is some lookout point looking over these mountains over these trees and very nice so yeah I do apologize for my derpness there's not really much I can do about it that is the joys of being a let's player most of the time you miss out on the most obvious things but I guess that can be said for pretty much everyone that does let's plays so 
We just need to wait up because we're going to get in the way of the harvester as soon as he comes back around, aren't we? Say how much it holds. It shouldn't hold that much. Only about 6,000, I'd say. Let's see. No more? Almost holds as much as the other harvester. 8,500. Wow. Really? Is that modded or not? I should check at the store. I also looked at uh, some Christmas map mods or something of the sort, some tractors or something. I couldn't really find anything. I found a Christmas tree uh, map or you know, Christmas tree placeable tree that you could get, but I've installed it and it doesn't seem to be showing up anywhere. I think I've installed it wrong, but <laughs> the mods are extremely easy to install. I don't know. Maybe it's just glitched up or something. Not working how it should, but what we want to do is check out the harvesters. I want to check out where the sheep will go as well. Um, harvesters, harvesters. All oh, right, we also have this seller now as well because I bought it. Because of my derpiness. Oh, we have. Oh, wait, that's Amazon. Why am I looking at by brand? I want to look at this. Um, why did it stop? Okay. Um. There we go. Sewing machines. So we've got this one, as well as this one, yes. I'm not used to the red uh, sewers at all. At all. Cultivators and harvesters. Okay. Well, oh, okay, so this is the second best one. Yep. Oh, radio. He's given us some really good stuff. I know some of you guys said that you don't like having really good stuff at the start. You like building up, which I guess is a good point. I'll keep that in mind for the next couple of uh, places that we go on and farm at. So back to this guy. Maybe I should buy some sheep because we have a bit of money. Uh, so with that money, we'll go to animals. Uh, place will know. Here we go. Why can, I th why can I not think today? It's because of that echo. That's why I'm going to blame it on. It's so weird having a room just completely empty. You never realize just how like much space you have. All right, so we've bought a fair amount of sheep. Uh, now, let's go back to our vehicles and try to cut some grass. Actually, no. We can tab our way to the Big M Crone Cutter. We should fold this up first. That would be... A, actually, no, we shouldn't. We should go ahead and just uh, do the rest of this field. This truck looks so weird though. I think it looked a bit different in Farming Simulator 2011. It looked a bit uh, fatter, like a lot wider, I think, at least. Anyway, off we go. Trying to... See, I, I don't get this as well, like the cruise control speeds. It's not really too good, because if you go cruise control 3, you're going much too fast. You've got to slow down. And a vehicle that just is only used to spray should be like set up perfectly at the just the right speed to fertilize. Unfortunately, that is not the case. All right. So what was over there? There's some more silos. I wonder if you can actually drop your stuff over there. That'd be cool if you could. And just store them up there. So there's more different storage places. Yeah, I'm surprised the grass is like really high textured and it's not lagging up at all. It's doing quite well. The game. Anyway, let's slow it down. Cruise control too, but you can't hire a worker, so. Maybe let's just stop the job for now. Let's go get the cutter. That is what is fun. Getting the grass cutter. It's always the best. Except, where is the grass? There's a good question. Uh, okay, so, yeah. So this dark green is the actual grass that we want to cut. So... It doesn't really look like we have any fields where we can use. Jeez, it looks like that guy's gone well off the cliff. Uh, what about all that green space over there? 
would that be grass that we can use and cut? Like, there's a lot of just greenery everywhere. So you never really know. Maybe we would be able to cut some things. Maybe I should go over to where the golf course is. Let's go ahead and explore over there. Maybe you never know, there might be grass pastures. Oh yeah, there's lots of grass here. Okay, so I could make use of that. I don't really know why this square is just left alone with nothing. Okay, so it seems like this is all grass. Some of that we could exploit. Can we go up? Oh, that would be nice if we'd go up that little ramp. Hopefully we don't glitch through it. That'd be pretty sweet if we could go up there. What is up there? Originally. It's the... Oh, no. Lager House is just up here. Oh, it's Field 40. So Field 40 is the really, really big field. You might... Oh, we just went over the river. Okay. Okay, moment of truth. Seems like it's working. Very good. All right, we're uh, damn it, it's all blocked off. <laughs> uh huh. So I see what the map is. So where all this dark green stuff is is where it's blocked off. Ah, really? So the golf course is going to be completely blocked off. Oh, well. at least we've learned something. Maybe we could glitch through. Oh, hello. <laughs> Beautiful. I see what he's done. He's just made this extremely high all of this area. Nice. So we can still access it. Our field 40 is large. Because I guess he's just left this area and just uh, flattened it all out. Let's see if we can drive up this mountain. I think we'll just drive straight through it though. This is nice, nice though. Alright, it looks like we'll drive straight through it. Yes. Oh, hello. Beautiful. <laughs> Hopefully I haven't screwed the game up. Oh, look at that speed. Oh, oh, okay. Bye-bye. I guess I'm never going to see it again unless I can respawn it somehow. Let's try to do that. There we go. That works. And we can always tap back. Okay. That worked. Uh, let's go back to our harvester now because you'll need our help. At least it'll need it very soon. So yeah, there was a Christmas tree mod, but it sang the some type of Christmas carol, and I really didn't want to include that in a video because if you know how YouTube is with copyright, don't want to get a copyright strike for something stupid like that. Because I really should know better than uploading some music video or music song. So yeah, won't be doing that. But it did seem like a good mod, but I just can't get it to work for whatever reason. And some of you were wondering, I, it really blows my mind. I always, well, at least I always try to put my um, mods in the description of the video. Some of you were asking, where do I download the map? Um, where do I download it from? Give me a link. There was a damn link. I put it in caps. I pressed caps lock for you guys so you can see. Download the mod here. And no, there are still people that didn't know where to download it from. Really, guys? Really? It should be plainly obvious. Check the description. Instead of spammy comments, I would have thought that was quite clear. Um, so, let's go check up where we keep our sheep. Which should be somewhere up here. Where we have this. Which, to be honest, this should be, yeah, this is pretty much our main farm. That's just where he stored our vehicles, for whatever reason. I'm not exactly sure. What's that? That's a nice little house as well. Just a, like a couple townhouses or something. So, over here to our left if I can drive properly that's weird some shed yep so this is where the cows are no doubt especially because there's that uh, manure holder up now where would these sheep be I love this <laughs> oh boy, we're looking straight down uh, <laughs> he left a sugar beet plant it's kind of cute um, maybe we don't have any sheep where could they be What's that? Are they sheep there? No. Actually, they might be the sheep. Are they just freeballing it? Are the sheep just serious? They are. 
<laughs> okay. And the dog's barking at him. I wonder if that plate's going to be where the uh, cotton grows out. <laughs> okay. This is interesting. I wonder if the sheep will just keep on walking everywhere and anywhere. Or what will happen or if they just remain in this general area. Hmm. It's cool nevertheless. Alright. Let's drive through a sheep. There we go. Now that we've done that, <laughs> there's some more sugar beets over here that we can harvest. But uh, wait, actually, I should bother. I'll show you guys how to use the uh, tipper. So that cuts off the stalk, I think. Uh, it's what I'd guess what you'd call the top of the sugar beet plants, the stalk. So you have to cut the stalk off if you don't use the Grimmy Maxtron. And then you have to use your own manual type of uh, harvester as well. What is this store? Oh, the post bank. Okay, so that's the bank. Makes sense. Oh, is that a BMW? Hmm. Maybe this is with, included with the BMW mod or something. But let's go ahead and attach the correct machinery, which should be this one with the yellow top. Sort of looks like a McDonald's sign, almost. Just the red and yellow colours. Alright, talking about YouTube, I wonder if any... Oh, it's called a defoliator. There you go. The more you know. But <laughs> you can't fold it? No, you can't. Uh, yeah, I wonder what you guys are thinking about the YouTube changes. YouTube's completely revamped the whole site, pretty much. It seems interesting. I could imagine it looking really good on tablets. I still don't like the way it looks on the... Uh, my computer screen uh, because like it's not centered the video actually isn't centered for me it's uh, shifted towards the left I re also really don't like how the title is underneath the video I personally think the title should be above the video I, like that would make more sense to me I think these things would change I don't see why they wouldn't because I just think they make sense and I guess I'm sure most people would be complaining about how the game looks and not to, what am I talking about games for? The, I'm trying to figure out where I should be driving. So I've completely lost all hope of knowing where to drive, haven't I? It's not up here. I get so easily distracted though, don't I? <laughs> Wait, it's, I think it's down there. So we were driving to the shop. should be somewhere here unless it's in between there maybe that's where it was but yeah I could ass I'd assume that most of you probably won't like the changes to YouTube immediately I've, I've always been like that with how forums and stuff change you always hate how they start changing it and then you get used to it and then you don't even realize it's different and then you begin to like the changes that they've made I think that's what what will happen with these changes they've done to YouTube at the moment but it's quite a drastic change, very large. Um, so, where exactly are we defoliating this? I should be paying more attention, shouldn't I? It is my casual derpness. Where are we? How's that harvester doing? He's still at, what, 73%. Still got a bit. Let's keep driving. Um, I want to drive up north this time. You never know, you might find some more sugar beets. And let's drive up northeast. I don't think we've really driven enough up there. Still don't know what's there, so it doesn't hurt to explore. We've got some umbrellas. I thought they were mushrooms. Blue colored mushrooms. As you do. Actually, what we could do is go to map views, go to fruit types, and it might show us where the sugar beets are. We're gonna look for like a skin movie color. It's not really showing up. Just like these little red geometry bits. Um, hmm. No, it's to be seen. Which is cool. Whatevs, whatevs. What's there? Nothing really in the town? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, no, nothing too good's over here. Anyway, we gotta to get back to work, shouldn't we? This is also... Oh, no, this is more... 
Really? What's this fenced off for? Just nothing. I just literally plain nothing. Okay. Well, the Deutz is going to need some help quite soon, so I should get on to that. But firstly, I want to find where the sugar beets are. I've completely forgotten them. So easy to get lost on new maps, though. I guess that's what's happening. Maybe it was down here. There's the shop. Although the cardboard cutouts aren't there. <laughs> Gotta love those cardboard cutouts. Added so much more realism to the game. Hmm. Alright, well. I'm literally lost. Like, I could not be more lost if I tried. So we've got our wheat over here. So I think I should get out of this vehicle. And I'll go tell him. You know what we'll do? Because I'm feeling quite ballsy today. I'm going to go ahead and get this cultivator. Oh, sower. And we'll get to work on the, that field over there. We'll fold the sower first. And we'll drive over here. And, oh, wait. We know we can't. Ah, damn it. We cannot sow potatoes there, can we? Let's check if we ever have a potato seeder. Uh, potato harvesting? No. Beet harvesting? No. Sewing machines. Okay. Yeah, we do have this. Okay. So let's tap back and let's drive all the way back to where our farming vehicles are kept. Damn, I really do have short-term memory loss. <laughs> I really don't know where those sugar beets are. And I'm sure you guys are typing away furiously at me. There's a harvester all the way over there. Who will need a bit of our help. Just casually driving over people. And where is the... There it is. Ah, oh, so that's the one we just bought, isn't it? The solar that we just bought. Righto. And because this is the largest potato sower, it's going to take us quite a while on that field number one. So if any of you guys are new to the series, this is pretty much what Farming Simulator 2011 was. You, could, you pretty much owned everything and you could do whatever you wanted on every single field. Except there weren't any potatoes or sugar beets and a lot less different vehicles. But still, I guess you get the point. It was quite a good game. Not as good as this though. This is a lot better. Maybe not a lot. It's definitely an upgrade. Definitely an upgrade. But I was expecting a little bit more. Maybe a new game engine. That's what I thought looking at the new pictures. Like these pictures that they used. They looked so good. To promote the game. Alright. Um, did I just literally get the wrong... Oh, really? Really? Oh no, I'm just an idiot. Wow. Oh well. You can get to work on maybe canola then. I swear it looked the same. This guy can cultivate at the same time, can't he? I'm pretty sure he's the one that cultivates, but... Fields already come cultivated. Silly me. More derpness from me. So let's get to cutting some grass on some rolling hills. That's always fun. Of course, I'll need to... Go fill up here. Oh, there we go. There's <laughs> some random plants going on this field as well. Let's go for another about 20 minutes of this episode. Hopefully I can upload tomorrow. It, should, it shouldn't take that long to build a couple of desks. If anyone's wondering, I'm not really too keen on doing like a uh, room tour or whatever. I just feel like it's just like 
showing off and it's, I, just, I just don't think it's right just to I know it's just hey look at me look what I've got and ha 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 you don't have it even though it's most like house tours or room tours aren't exactly like that setup tours but I don't know it's just wrong I guess most of you guys would probably know what you have like a computer a couple like a monitor or two once you go dual monitors you'll never go back though I'd recommend it to anyone so much um, so let's go back on our trek trying to find sugar beets what we could do is well we've already found a couple of them they're over there on this wheat field just growing randomly we should be able to cut the top off the stem somewhere right over here There it is. Oh no, maybe they are potatoes? No, they should be sugar beets. Or oh, is that corn that's not grown out yet? Looks like corn that's not grown out yet. Let's uh, just turn the exfoliator on. You never know your luck. No, it doesn't seem like it's working. All right, that's cool. That's cool. We're well, learning still. At least I am. It takes you a lot for me to learn. There's so much grass. Beautiful, lush green grass. There's our sheep. They don't seem to be straying too far. Oh, we got corn. I've driven past this field a lot and I still haven't realized. Okay, nothing over there. Alright, so maybe we should get to cutting some corners off. Because I do know. There we go, there it is. And while we're there, we could get the auto baler. Try to. We should, we should be able to do it, I think. There's no reason as to why it shouldn't connect, because they're both crones. No, I guess you can only connect to the uh, Deutz Harvester. Which is a bit weird, because it's Deutz and Crone, two different companies. You'd think that like, they'd use patented uh, locks or something, so the rival companies can't use their products on different tractors. A bit like sort of uh, Apple and Microsoft, how you can't use a lot of Apple products on uh, Windows computers, or not Windows computers, but Microsoft, uh, I don't know, like, you can't, I'm pretty sure you can't use iPods on your Xbox, or at least you couldn't previously, maybe that's changed. I think it actually has. Cause it was a dumb idea to do that, to block iPods on your Xbox, so you can't listen to music or podcasts or whatever. Silly, silly. talking about different patents god damn google i was looking at like google and ipad uh, apple and all the different crappy shitty pa I patents they have just with the ipad and all this crap like one company has these patents to be able to scroll uh like the patent to be able to scroll through things to wipe your finger across the screen and another has something to like put a password in it's just ridiculous now like they're not even protecting their intellectual property or anything it's just screwing over the consumer at the end of the day so here is the field i really think the render distance has been dropped down on the map but i don't think you can do that i think you have to do it through your documents i haven't done anything so. kind of weird anyway we need something on the back don't we we do indeed all right so let's go ahead and uh oh yes okay grimy tektron it should get to work on that potato field as well. Before I speed up time way too much. I'm just assigning everyone everywhere. It's still exploring a lot. Because I don't know where the potatoes are. We should be able to see there they are. On field 24. So field 24 is where exactly? Okay, underneath. So just keep driving forward. And we'll get there. Sooner or later. Even though this guy drives at uh, an abysmal pace. You're gonna love the weird wheels in front. There's the fire extinguisher. I was gonna say, where is the fire extinguisher on this beast? You'd expect there to be a much larger fire extinguisher, actually. Just wouldn't want this thing to get on fire. It's like a tank. Something that you'd see on the mil in the military. Talking about the military, I was 
it was actually a couple weeks ago that they were reporting that uh, the Australian military bought a special John Deere, like a forest harvesting or forest uh, destroying machine, just so they can get to like, uh, I guess it was, it was more for humanitarian purposes. Now the sheep are definitely strange, but for humanitarian purposes, they bought like a John Deere uh, machine so they could cut the my potatoes should be growing out here. Shouldn't they? 24. Alright, more to the right. But yeah, they bought a John Deere, some tree cutting machine so they could uh, get to places where there's floods and stuff a lot quicker. Oh, keep driving. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of interesting. They dropped it down from like a some bomber, some aircraft. And they had to attach, it was like, I think it was might have actually set a record or something for the... Uh, most parachutes that they had to ha attach to something like that. It's pretty crazy what they had to do. Ty if you type in, say, a John Deere Australian Army, you'd probably find something. Okay, so, oh, the potatoes have grown out. Not that I'm going to be complaining. And, well, which way should we go? Let's go. Yeah, let's go this way. It's going to take a little while. We need to unfold everything. Goddamn transformer. And of course this isn't fertilized either, so it's gonna take a little while before we fill it all up. Which is good, because we're driving too much. We're gonna get some more action going. Instead of just driving about. Um <laughs> There's that guy. <laughs> it's gonna take him probably two hours in real time just to do the rest of this. Let's keep driving. Probably need about three more runs. Yeah. Because this is our third run already. And we haven't really touched that side at all. This last thing is quite a while. If you're still watching this video, then make sure you give it a good thumbs up because if you're still watching it, then thank you so much. It's people like you that I will happily make longer episodes for. Of course they take a little bit longer to render out and there's a lot more chances of things going wrong which I really don't like like we did in that well the attempted hour and a half video that was a bit of a fail a very large fail at that okay so I'm gonna do this in uh, steps I'm not gonna do this whole field in uh, just one row fertilizing we need to bring you up and then we need to drop this stuff off of the silos thankfully this field is very close to the silos after all it's the uh, big field 14 that we had previously on Hagenstad it's our third field that we bought because we started off with field six oh well, it's our second field that we bought because we started off with 16 then we bought 15 and joined them up together. And then we bought fields 14. There we go. It's been a long journey. A long, long journey. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just assign this guy to get to work again. Uh, high worker. There we go. Because he wouldn't have started working until he would have been all emptied out. So instead of just standing there, I just told him to get to work instead. I think it's a bit smarter to do that. So I think I'll just drop this off at the silo because... Oh, weight seems to be selling quite well. Ooh, especially at the lager house. Definitely going to sell this at the lager house. Very good. I was going to store it, but I'm not exactly sure how great demands work either. We haven't encountered one. We probably should very oh well, because we're playing real time. We shouldn't actually. Let's drive over that away. Still need to attach something to this cone. I might do that right now, actually. I'll leave this aggro liner for 
the cone. Because we'll drive with the Salufa back to where all the other vehicles are. It's a good idea. So where the hell is there a road? Oh, it was over there, okay. Oh, we can actually sell our hay over here, I think. It's like that place where we can sell hay. Looks like it. Um, I'm just wondering if we can sell our crop over in this section. It'd be interesting if we can. No, it just there for looks, okay. Sell the goods. It's not really going to give us all that much money at all. Because we aren't holding much crop. Actually, more than I had expected. Selling for a good price, of course. What is that? Those are just some wooden blocks. What's that? Some potatoes to the left? Are they really potatoes? Something very low textured, whatever it is. Oh, there's an entry and an exit. So I guess here's the exit. Potato guy is still working at it. Taking his sweet time. Still haven't found where I had those other um, those other sugar beets. They've completely disappeared off the radar. Haven't driven past them yet. Must have been in some really obscure place. But I'm gonna unattach this. Right now, get out. Run over to my crane, and I'll try to attach this at the back. It should work. I don't know if it needs that yellow PTO shaft or what. I don't think it did. Oh, yep. It doesn't seem to work. I think it needs something else. Oh, that makes me sad. You can only attach certain trailers to that then. Wow, for $400,000, I think that is a big waste of money. Like, I don't think just... Uh, Turning corn into chaff is really that good. It doesn't really pay off that all that well. I wanted to. Oh, our wet guys already filled up. Easy works fast. Blistering pace. And he stopped all the way over there on the other side of the field. Just had to make it all that much harder for me. I wonder how this is all look at night. I don't think there'd be any like lighting effects, but still. Probably look exactly the same to be honest. The nights aren't too dark, which I like. Like if the nights would be too dark in a game like this, then you wouldn't be able to do anything at night. Which I guess would be realistic, but not as fun. And this game is a lot of fun. It's a lot more fun than Agricultural Simulator 2013, let me tell you that. I've been trying to get into the game, but I just can't. It's just, like, it, it's got good concepts, but overall, not really that much of a game, really. It's extremely broken. I've heard bad things about their forums. I've heard that they've been uh, deleting anyone that has any complaints about the game. And I could imagine there being lots of people with complaints about the game. So right now, I'm just driving rather aimlessly. Looking for the golden sugar beets. I swear they were somewhere over here. And I've completely lost track. Let's try to get into the big M so we can finally cut some grass. But how are you doing? Okay. It's not too bad. This guy's doing pretty bad. Alright. So I am going to start over here. Let's unfold this. Let's actually start on the cornfield. I don't think it'd be able to cut anything on the cornfield. Oh, laggy, laggy, lag. There we go. I think it's what's been happening is my wireless connection just uh, drops out. 
It's a router. It's not my internet connection. That's what was all this problem. And it just cuts off. And that's what causes like the computer to lag up for a second. It's really annoying. Um, let's turn that on. And well, you can't hire a worker. Uh, do we want widespreading? Do we want it? Well, no, we don't. Because right now I'm just gonna. Yeah, I want to feed it to my sheep. And I'm not exactly sure where we can feed it to our sheep, to be honest. Yeah, I haven't really found anywhere. So, let's drive off. There we go. Like a hot knife through butter. It is so smooth. So good. Just does so much work in such a small amount of time. Very cost efficient. Especially if you turn your missions on and you're doing this in Hug and Start. You just do all these missions in no time at all. Be able to do it, just uh, pump them out. So I think you can cut grass at any speed. Let's try to go past these speed limits. Uh, there is a bit of a speed limit. It's like 19 miles an hour. So Let's go cruise control 3, see how that works. Am I going too fast? Uh, yeah. So once you max out cruise control speed limit 3, you can't cut the grass anymore. But still, you can go at a decent pace cutting grass without any problems. A really good machine. Probably one of the best. Apart from the uh, sugar beets and potato harvesters. They're amazing. That's pretty much what this game was made around, up to, if you ask me. Hopefully he's given us a forage wagon. I think he did. He's given us a lot of vehicles to start off with. And I'll keep in mind, of course, that you guys don't really like that. Like me starting off with a lot of money or a lot of vehicles at the start. You like me building up, selling some stuff. And then, like, buying new and better stuff. So definitely keep that in mind. For the next map, which probably we'll, we'll do one a week or one every five episodes or so. Still have no idea. Oh, okay, that's where the. Oh, okay, I see. So it's not a handrail, that's where we actually store our uh, sheep feed or our grass. Over there where the uh, dog and the owner were. It looked like sort of a handrail and like maybe a bit of viewpoint or something, but it's where we actually store our food or the grass for the sheep. There's going to be a lot of grass. Still not enough to fill up the forage wagon though. That takes up a lot. How are all our guys doing? 67% for the potato guy, 69, 70% for the wheat. Okay. So they're taking their time. As as I would, because after all the workers are being paid for their good hard work. If it weren't for them, we wouldn't be able to make anywhere near as much money. This game would be taking forever if you only could, like, do one thing at a time with no hired workers. Could you imagine that? Oh, hurts to think about it. And now I could get this harvester or grass cutter, mower, whatever you want to call it, to keep on driving until it could keep driving for a very, very long time. Probably until he reaches some buildings over on that field and over on like the valley between both of these hills. Hmm. But I think that's going to be enough of that. We're going to need to bring, yeah, because you've stopped the harvester, that is. So I think with that, I think we'll end this episode right now actually. We're doing quite a bit. I'm quite happy with the way things are going. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the map and the way I'm doing everything. If you aren't, then I'm sorry. I will be doing a new map soon, so don't worry about that. And if you want Hug and Start back as well, that's going to be coming. It's just, I'm sort of off put off uh, Hug and Start for the time being, especially with that map mod. Not map mod, but map glitch that just screwed over all of our vehicles. But until next time, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this super mega long episode. It's not super long, but it's pretty large. And uh, thank you for watching. I guess the grass stops over here. Oh, and there's a big hill.